Hey guys, Jazz here, or Kenshiro AMV, as you may know me. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to use iFlears today. Uh, the best example I could think of that had that was in the uh, Grand Theft AMV by, um, I don't know, Souls Team slash Sora Tokasai or whatever it's called, SDK. I'm just sure to show you a short clip here of where they have it. So like that and like that. Just trying to find the best um screen to stop on. So like that basically. And this is fairly easy to do as long as you have a uh, knowledge of After Effects. I'll go through it fairly quickly. But, um, I don't want to go to it too much. Anyway, so I'm just going to find any random picture I have here now and use that. Something that will fit, obviously. Uh, as you can see, I actually created some screens before of what he did, which is quite cool. And this is just using some simple stuff like, um, what do you call it? Optical flares. Just find something. Mm, I don't know, I save a lot of random stuff, so just give me a minute to find something. Probably should have been more organized at this point, shouldn't I? Eh, <laughs> uh, uh, well. Find something. Uh, I really should have had a pizza game there. Oh, I've got some Sony Vegas stills. Which is what I did use before. If you saw the intro video. So I used this eyes a picture, but it wasn't amazing to use. Because the colours aren't that great. Um I used this black style one. I've tried with it before. Someone's asking me on Skype but I'm gonna ignore them. So now you have your picture, you will you will have a scene in and you'll have to mark each frame. I'll do masking in another tutorial. But yeah, I'm just gonna use this one picture here. So I drag that in or you can drag it into the new comp button. And this just created a composition of ten seconds for me. You may be completely new to effects so you won't understand any of this. I'll make a sort of simple tutorial later on on some basic stuff. Just I did this today earlier, so I, it's fresh in my mind. I'm just gonna maximize this a bit, and now I'm gonna double click this, and I'll bring you to the layer. You can see it just changed it from here to here. I'm gonna click over here to the pen tool, or you can use G on your keyboard to get the pen tool. I'm just gonna do this side because it'll be easier to do, and yeah, so let's get on with it. Just start clicking and do it like you would in Sony Vegas. If you're completely new to After Effects, basically, you click the points where you want it to be, roughly, and this will create a mask which will get rid of the um, eye. It's being rough and not being super accurate or anything. And something like that. You can zoom in as well, but I'm just going to leave it up now. And so we go back, bring this back up. And if you want to use either shortcuts, I'll use MM and I'll just open up all the masking. Or you click this arrow and you can mask and then you put, bring this one down as well. You change this to subtract. And if you just click off to the side. So I'll go to the composition. You can see it's a quite a rough mask, it's not exactly getting everything out. So we just want to slightly change that. I'm gonna zoom in to about 400 percent I'm gonna use the H button, just hand, so you can move this around without changing anything. Press G again so you can move these points. You can add points, 
by clicking here. So I just want to add a small point here. Let's just point down a bit. Want to add a point up here. Do that and that, and that's pretty okay. I mean, it's a bit like that, and that's good enough. Zoom back out. What you do is click on there, put fit, and go back to here. Now, if you press V, you get your normal mouse button back, and that's decent. I'm just gonna um, feather it a bit by about two pixels, and so it's just made a bit softer around the edge. Now, what the next thing you do is you want to create a new solid. It doesn't matter what color it is. You just need to make a new one to layer new solid, or you can press Control and Y together. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it green, um, gray, make it more size. Okay, I'm just gonna put this underneath for now. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add our effect in. So we're gonna add in optical flares. Hope this tutorial isn't gonna go on too long. Six minutes. So I just want to be, I'm gonna be quite quick now. So we have a um, optical flare. You position it behind the eye. You click this position here. Then you can see you'll bring it to behind there. Now what we want to do is we want to change the type of optical flare. We click on options. It'll bring up this sort of thing. And I'm go I've got a special uh, pro presets, which I will link in the uh, description. And for this type, I want to use a wide sort of um, flare that can fill up the eye nicely. The one I used before was this, but I guess we'll use just a slightly different one for this one. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to get rid of all this extra stuff that you don't need, because it will just look stupid on the actual thing. So, get rid of the hoop, get rid of all the different irises, so just click it and press delete. Multi iris, maybe we'll leave that one on, get rid of the glints, get rid of the sparkles, most definitely you don't want sparkles there. You can see this had a lot of work in it, but we're going to get rid of all of it now. This will just take a few minutes, so just be patient. There, and uh, go with that. Go with this one. Go with the blend. As you can see, it's starting to look a lot better now. Go with the lens. Go with that. Leave the glow in there. Again, we're going to keep getting rid of all these different irises. Look how many. A lot of work must have went into this, but we're just going to strip it all away. So, uh, get it right over there. Get rid of all these different things. I mean, we only really need the orbs. Just get rid of all of it. And we want the clothes as well. We just don't want no streaks or sparkles in there. Ow. Or any irises. So, this as well. We should put one more streak. Let's create what we have is. Alright, so we're going to have this now. This is going to be our light. So we're going to click OK. And you can see that sort of fills up the inside. We just going to sort of play with the brightness a bit. I want to make it so it's just about so you can sort of see the purpleness. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D. We're going to bring this on top. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the mode. If you don't see mode, press F4. You might see this, so press F4 and you get back to mode. I'm going to change it to add. Uh, I guess you can play with the different types of modes, but I'm just going to leave it on add. So now we're going to mess with this. I want to put a more sort of center. I want to change the brightness down quite a bit so, so you can see it's just sort of emanating from the outside. Maybe we'll up the scale a bit, something like this. We're also going to change the opacity, so press T on your keyboard with the layer selected. Or you can just use drop down menu, transform, and opacity. I'm going to drop this down to about 50% maybe, maybe I think about 70% is too bad, i fine here. And so now you can sort of see the effect that we are going for. 
which is what we wanted. Uh, let me just see if I can pull up that picture again. If it's here. So, something like this. He's maybe done it a little bit better than, well, he obviously has because it's a uh, red rum. And red rum is pretty damn awesome. I think, you know, we don't want that one. We need to scale up a bit. There's a fine line and you have to just sort of work on this. I mean, you can change it either as well by the option. So you can maybe have something a bit more reddish possible. I mean, if we change the color as well, we might get something different. Don't know why I can't change it. So maybe if we change it to like a reddish color, like a dark, like a dark red. Yeah. Let's have a look. Doesn't seem to change it that much. <laughs> I don't know, but there's different ones up there. So if I like want to get something reddish, so like wasteland, let me get rid of all these different things. I wish I could just uh, not use it actually. Get the spikes, get the irises, get rid of all these different things here that we never never need. The thing is, with this, is not very um. What do you call it? It's not very wide, so you're gonna have to scale this up quite a bit, and you'll start getting that, which is what I don't like. Because it doesn't look as natural then. But there you go. I should change this as well. I don't know. Anyway, that's the sort of thing we want, and also we might want to just. Uh, Isolate one sort of color in here to make it look a bit better in terms of CC. That's easy to do, so we're going to duplicate this layer by clicking Ctrl D. I'm going to add a tint to the bottom layer. Come on, select it and drag it onto the layer. And on the top layer, I'm going to add a leaf color. I mean, you can find these up in the um, effects up here, but I can't be bothered to. Try and select them. You can use the dropper to select the color that you want. We're going to do this. Yeah. And so we can sort of see the thing we're going for now. I mean, I think I quite like um, blue instead. So maybe I'll go back and add that other preset. Use this one so it's easy to get rid of your stuff. So this one, this one. And this, yeah, we we'll get something like this. Let me change this back to white, pretend to brighten this down, something like that. And there you go, you got something that, that's looking a lot better now. And you, just, you, you do want to play with this stuff to make sure you get it 100% right. I mean, there. Oh, I'm also going to use the hue, you don't want to use the RGB. And so now, I mean, this is a single picture, so you won't see it. But um, if you have a, if you if you're using this in a scene, like such as Redrum did, where it had moving, then you're gonna have to mask each single frame of the eye, and you're going to have to move this along as well. To move it, you can use tracking. I'll go through tracking in another tutorial. I think this is long enough now, anyway. So um, this is my first tutorial, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, if you don't know how to use After Effects very well, hopefully this sort of helps you start off and you know gets you looking through how to sort of navigate through After Effects itself. I might go through, I might go through my layout at one point and just the general stuff, we're covering lots of different things in the future. So subscribe and like if you enjoyed this tutorial. Ask me questions if you don't understand anything. Um, also, if you ever want to figure out an effect that someone else has done, then just uh, PM me or comment and say, look, I want to know this effect at this second. How do you do this? And I will make a video um, to explain you how, or I will just personally comment, uh, comment back or message you back. Uh, it's a description of how to do it. 
So yes, bye for now guys.